yeah, our, one of our pullbacks. And welcome to this special edition of KGCS TV Campus Update, a student produced news program about the happenings of Missouri Southern State University. I'm Kisa Clark. And I'm Garrett Saunders. Welcome again to this special edition of Campus Update following the devastating F5 tornado that struck Joplin on May 22nd. We'll be sharing some moving stories of how the storm is felt here at MSSU. That's right. We have a lot of important stories to get to, and we'll start with a special memorial that was held on Sunday, August 28th at the Taylor Auditorium to honor the three Missouri Southern family members lost in the tornado. Around 150 attended the Remember, Recognize, and Renew memorial service that included several speakers, a choir performance, and the release of 160 green and yellow balloons for each person killed in the tornado. The three honored at the service included Dr. Jose Alvarez, Spanish professor at Missouri Southern, student Abraham Corey, and Donald Lansaw, husband of staff member Bethany Lansaw, who he gave his life to protect. At the memorial, MSSU President Dr. Bruce Speck announced a new scholarship created in honor of those individuals lost. The new scholarship, called the Alvarez Corey Lansaw Memorial Scholarship, will be an endowed scholarship. Dr. Speck and his wife, Carmen, donated the initial $3,000 to the foundation to start the award. Also during the ceremony, Dr. Speck was presented with a special recognition from the Ozarks chapter of the American Red Cross for the services provided by MSSU following the storm. Less than two hours after the tornado, Young Gymnasium and Leggett and Platt Athletic Center became the Red Cross Disaster Shelter. An agreement was made for the American Red Cross to use MSSU's facilities only two weeks prior to the tornado. The Health Science Building was used as a hospital with fully functioning facilities designed for training nursing students. The shelter provided a variety of services, including food, shelter, health care, and counseling. Hundreds of volunteers assisted the shelter that housed around 3,500 people and gave out over 85,000 meals. After the tornado, another form of assistance was set up for those directly connected to MSSU. The Missouri Southern Foundation Office created a special tornado relief fund for MSSU students, faculty, and staff impacted by the storm. Right after the tornado, we um, decided that we needed to have some kind of immediate response to the tornado and so we worked on getting some donors to donate funds to that. The foundation has collected over $52,000 and have distributed around $41,000 and are planning another distribution this semester. And as development officer for the foundation, Michael Fontana explains, the donations have come from many different resources. Those are private donations coming from uh, everything from an employee handing me a $100 bill to someone in Japan going on our website and donating through the website. There was a small committee created to go over applications for assistance and allocate the funds. That included faculty, staff, and a student. The foundation is still taking donations in hopes to allocate another round of funding to those chosen for assistance. Assistance. One of the things we're figuring is that as we get in toward winter, people who had some initial relief from the tornado were probably in the middle of summer, thinking about summer clothes and summer things, and we're expecting that as winter creeps up on them, they're going to go, oh my gosh, we forgot about this or that or the other, and uh, we're hoping to be able to help with that as well. If you would like to make a donation, you can do so at the MSSU Foundation office or visit the Foundation website at www.mssu.edu backslash giving to make a donation online. Unfortunately, many MSSU students experienced the storm firsthand and were in the path of the powerful storm that Sunday evening. One such student, Nathan Mills, this year's editor-in-chief of the campus newspaper The Chart, recounted that traumatic experience. Campus Update's Jeremy Thomas has more. The May 22nd tornado that hit Joplin, Missouri has damaged fellow Joplin residents physically and emotionally, including some students from Missouri Southern State University. A senior mass communication major at MSSU, Nathan Mills, is just one of many students that have personal stories they remember from the night of the tornado. That day I was at work. Uh, I worked at Joplin Mill Mattress on Range Line, about 18th Range Line. I knew I was in trouble. Um, you know, dove in the hallway, took shelter, and 
the building was just destroyed with me in it. Uh, you know, stuff flying all over the place. A dumpster actually hit me in the back, and that was pretty cool. For Mills, he reflects on his life and goes through the emotions during the night of the tornado. You know, I remember lying there, lying there on the ground and thinking that I was going to die that day and that there was nothing I could do about it and how disappointed I was. Um, you know, angry and disappointed that more than anything else uh, that I didn't get to finish a lot of the things that I had started. Mills openly describes the things that are going on during his life today. I've got a bunch of things going on. I'm about to get married. I'm about to graduate. And all of those things would have been taken away from me had I died that day. So I was pretty, pretty angry about that. But I didn't die, so it's all good. Thousands of Joplin residents are still shaken from the tornado. For Mills, the aftermath of the tornado still pinches a nerve at times. You know, if I'm being honest, I mean, uh, every time I hear the tornado sirens tested on Monday mornings, I freak out a little bit. Um, you know, and it, a day like today where it's a little, a little overcast outside, I get a little nervous, but I, you know, I can live with it. Not too much good can come from a devastating EF5 tornado, but for Mills, he found a beneficial situation for himself because of the tornado. I definitely, you know, have a new appreciation for my family and those around me. Um, and the things that I do have, you know, just uh, school, work, you know, my possessions, my dogs, you know, um, so I'm, I th think I might be a little nicer, you know, maybe. Mills takes a step back and talks about where he sees himself a few years from now. I get married in October, uh, so I'll be married, obviously, in a year, hopefully, as, as long as she'll still have me. Uh, I, you know, I graduate in May, hopefully, you know, so um, with any luck, I'll be somewhere with, with a decent career started and, and a wife, you know, and and, uh, you know, she's already pushing for kids, so maybe one or two of those, you know, who knows? Who knows where we'll be in a year or two years. For Campus Update, this is Jeremy Thomas. <laughs> one MSSU student affected by the May 22nd tornado received some financial assistance from a different source, the Kansas City Royals. The MSSU drumline was selected to provide entertainment for the Kansas City baseball team as part of the Royal Thunder drumline. In the words of Todd Rundgren, I don't want to work, I just want to bang on my drum all day. A fun concept for the average listener as it displays its fun nature in place of daily work. For the MSSU Royal Thunder, it's both. The Missouri Southern Royal Thunder drumline has tenured itself to be one of the best in the Missouri drum arena, and that has not been more exemplified than their prominence at the Kansas City Royals games. With the usage of dance moves and alternating drum sets, the Thunder have been invited by the Royals to perform on multiple occasions in which they enhance a good time. Of course, in the shadow of these performances are the memories and respect for those that were part of the tragic storm that happened in Joplin. Many of the drumliners were a part of the tornado, including Austin Morris, a senior music education major at Missouri Southern, who lost his home in the event. However, the Thunder did not blink an eye in helping out a fellow drummer as they decided to donate the funds that they received from Kansas City to Austin for his cause. The Thunder's dedication to each other that is seen while they are performing seems to be just as powerful when they are not. They intend to keep this work and fun combo throughout their career here at MSSU as they keep a professional mindset while still doing what they love, banging their drums. For Campus Update, I'm Clinton Isco. There's a large number of students, faculty, and staff affected by the tornado, and several adjustments had to be made here at Missouri Southern. Books were technically due May 23rd, however the deadline was pushed back. Intercession classes were also affected by the storm. Classes were supposed to start May 23rd, but pushed back to Wednesday, May 25th. And in order to retain academic viability of the classes, length of time of the classes were extended. Students also had the opportunity to withdraw from any intercession class for a full refund. A week after the tornado, on May 27th, Missouri Southern housed a Joplin Community Memorial Service that included President Barack Obama, held in the Taylor Performing Arts Center. Before the memorial service, President Obama visited a neighborhood that was devastated by the tornado. After seeing the extensive tornado damage, the president spoke to the people of Joplin and reminded them that they were not alone in this tragedy and promised that the government would not let Joplin down. Missouri Governor Jay Nixon also spoke at the memorial along with local clergy. Thousands of Joplin residents filled not only all of Taylor Auditorium, but other auditoriums with live video, and it was also broadcasted live. Branson comedian Yakov Smirnov hosted a comedy night entitled Stand Up for Joplin in July at Taylor Auditorium. Smirnov, along with six other nationally known comedians, took part in the comedy event, including David Koechner from the hit movies Anchorman and Talladega Nights, Brett Butler, Michael Jr., Jeff Butler, and local comedian Marion Kelly. 
1,900 free tickets were given to Joplin residents and the event was recorded and rebroadcasted across the nation. During the program, information was given on how people could go to a website to contribute to help tornado relief efforts. KGCS staff, students, and faculty provided the on-location production work for the program. The Joplin Citizens Advisory Recovery Team spent some time on the MSSU campus to get input from students, faculty, and staff on what they want to see for the future of Joplin. Joplin takes the steps towards rebuilding. Cart was suggested by the Federal Emergency Management Agency as a way to give residents a say in how to reshape Joplin's future. Several public sessions were held in the community this summer, giving the organization a list of goals. Coming up, we'll see how campus housing was utilized after the tornado. And later, we'll hear about the Egyptian-themed semester taking place throughout this fall. Stay tuned. I'm Betsy Banks. I'm the founder of PetFinder.com from the class of 91, and you're watching Campus Update. KGCS-TV is proud to once again bring you the coverage of home football games for the Missouri Southern Lions. We'll record the games on Saturdays and replay them for you on Sunday nights as part of Southern Sports Sunday. Join us as we join the pride in supporting Missouri Southern and the Joplin community. Be sure to tune in Sunday evenings at 7 o'clock for Southern Sports Sunday, seen only on KGCS-TV, over the air on digital channel 22 and on regional cable systems, including channel 7 on cable 1 and channel 77 on Mediacom. Come to Missouri Southern State University for a great education. Graduate to become a success. Meet some of our graduates who say their success started with a Southern education. My instructors and my professors gave me all the tools that I would need to start my first job in my career. Uh, I do syndication, which is basically programming, TV stations, Missouri Southern really prepared me for going into the workforce. I am proud uh, that I am a Missouri Southern uh, State University product. I do recommend Missouri Southern. Missouri Southern was great. Missouri Southern State University. watching Campus Update on KGCS TV. Welcome back to Campus Update. With over 8,000 housing uni units destroyed in the tornado and over 11,000 volunteers, many from outside Joplin, there were many people in need of housing. And for some, the dormitories at MSSU were the answer. Campus Update's Justin Cole has more. On Sunday, May 22nd, disaster struck Joplin with a devastating F5 tornado destroying anything that stood in its path. Losing his own home, Missouri Southern's Director of Student Housing, Josh Doak, had an eagerness to help out the community. Knowing that Missouri Southern was going to be a central hub to assist the community on their way to recovery, Josh abandoned the idea of sleep and immediately went to work. I was awake at 3.30 in the morning. We'd already started housing emergency crews in the residence halls. We had our first police force that was already going to take a nap after doing a search and rescue. At the time, Josh was unaware of whether Missouri Southern was or wasn't going to allow people to stay at the dorms. A decision was made that they would allow the dorm side of campus to be resting quarters for rescue crews only. It started out as Blaine Hall as the only accessible building, however with more and more crews requesting space, things changed. Initially it started off just blanks, we didn't know how many people would use it, and then about the, about the next day or two we kept having a few more, another group of 50 needing this, another group of 30 needing housing. It just eventually kind of grew up and then we eventually started, we opened everything. We had every, every building, every residence building had someone in it. With the influx of rescue crews coming in, it became unorganized and hectic. Keys were then issued and information taken as the crews essentially became students. The crews were allowed to utilize the facilities as long as need be, with the final crews clearing out at the end of June, a full month after the tornado. It is also worth noting that through all the destruction and home loss that Missouri Southern was able to meet housing demands for the fall semester. As for his own recovery, Josh Doak was able to purchase a new home and everything.